The Pamir of Badakhshan, Afghanistan, is a special and remote area located at the farthest point of Badakhshan province. Due to the government's lack of attention to this region, the life of the people there is still strongly influenced by its past, which has similarities to the early times. The people of Pamir are divided into two main parts, the Little Pamir and the Great Pamir. The main occupation of the Pamir people is animal husbandry, and they often raise cattle, sheep, goats, and produce dairy products, leather, wool, etc., which constitute their main income. In this area, there is no provision of school services, treatment, and clinics. There is no exchange with money, and people trade in kind. Those who buy cattle or sheep should give goods such as tea, soap, carpet, salt, etc. Instead, mud houses are rare in this area, and people mostly live in woolen houses called kergas and live very close to their animals. Due to lack of oxygen in these altitudes, population growth is much less common in Pamir, and most babies die here, and mothers are also very exhausted during childbirth. Statistics show that in every 100 births, only 10 women survive and the rest are lost. Most of the children who survive are because their mothers give birth to their children in other areas of Badakhshan and are transferred to Pamir after a few years. These children, like their fathers, are engaged in raising animals and feeding them. The long distance to the market or the place of purchase and sale makes the people of Pamir sell their animal products at a very low price. Sometimes their products are bought by Chinese companies that produce dairy products, such as cheese, garut, yogurt, chimac, milk, and cheka. But it is time-consuming and difficult to transport them to the border of the China-Afghanistan common market, which is located there. For this reason, the economy of the people in Pamir does not change much. In Pamir, the people consist of Kyrgyz and indigenous people of Pamir. Most of the Kyrgyz follow the Sunni religion and an Ismaili minority also lives in this region. Anyone who decides to travel to the Pamirs will definitely become a guest of one of the Pamirs after arriving in this area, as there are no hotels or places to stay here. The local people will soon slaughter a sheep and cook all its meat and prepare it with the heads and legs in big bowls for the guests. For more distinguished guests, cooked sheep's head is also served alongside the meat. The most interesting thing is that when dishes full of meat are brought to the table, they don't take a single bit of it. Due to the high altitude and harsh weather conditions, trees and fruits do not exist in the Pamirs, vegetables do not grow here. The food of the main people of this region consists of animal meat and dairy products. Pamir people's clothes are made from local materials, especially wool. Their slippers are mostly made of leather, which is made by themselves and is very strong and resistant. There are only two months in a year for humans to commute from the Pamirs to the center of the Wakhan, and anything more than that would require a much longer trek. If one faces health problems during 10 months, he must die without treatment. So far, the people of Pamir have not benefited from the benefit in the field of civil development and public service provision, even in the current government which they believe has increased the economy and dishonesty in its service promises. They have not yet met their basic need, which includes the creation of a road to facilitate vehicular transportation. For the first time, a number of Kyrgyz residents of the Pamir Mountains in Wakhan district of Badakhshan province obtained Afghan citizenship. Afghanistan's National Bureau of Statistics, which is under the control of the Taliban, announced that a delegation went to the Pamirs and issued Tazkra, or Afghan citizenship documents, to 571 residents of this region. The Kyrgyz living in Pamir are the old residents of Badakhshan, Afghanistan, who have less contact with other centers and cities of Afghanistan due to the remoteness of their place of residence and the inaccessibility of communication routes to Pamir. Some residents of Pamir have never traveled to other cities in Afghanistan and do not know much about the situation in Afghanistan. Residents of Pamir have stated in documentaries prepared by the media in recent years that they do not have access to any facilities, including health services, and every year, a number of mothers, babies, and elderly people die due to seasonal diseases. 
The previous governments of Afghanistan promised several times to smooth the communication routes to the residents of the Kyrgyz living in the Pamir and to provide facilities such as schools and medical centers. But until now, these measures have been taken. In 2018, a group of 23 Kyrgyz teenagers and men went to the city of Osh in Kyrgyzstan for training and learning. After that, the elders of the Kyrgyz people asked the Afghan government to provide education for their children, otherwise they will have to leave Afghanistan. Due to the continuous neglect of the governments to the issues of this people, the representatives of the Kyrgyz living in Badakhshan asked for help from the Kyrgyz government. In 2022, the Kyrgyz government announced that it would transfer Kyrgyz residents of Pamir Badakhshan to the city of Osh where they would benefit from facilities such as schools and health services. This process has not yet started. It should not be said that the construction work of nearly 50 kilometers of the Silk Road connecting Badakhshan to China has started and its work is ongoing. This road with a length of nearly 50 kilometers and a width of five meters extends from Bazai Gumbad Pamir Kurd area of Wakhan district to the border of China. The total cost of this project is more than 369 million Afghanis, in addition to the repairs of some damaged parts of Pamir Kurd Road. A solution to improve the situation of Pamir Badakhshan people can include making changes in several fields. First, the promotion of healthcare services in the region is of great importance. Establishing clinics and providing doctors and health personnel can help improve people's health. Also, it is very important to create the necessary infrastructure, including roads and transportation network, to connect Pamir to the markets and other regions of Afghanistan. Also, creating suitable schools and educational facilities for children can help their education and increasing people's awareness about healthy eating and personal hygiene is also of great importance. These solutions require the cooperation of governments, nonprofit organizations, and international organizations in order to accelerate the improvement of the economic and social situation of the Pamir Badakhshan people and provide them with access to improved services and better opportunities for life. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to this channel to be aware of our new videos. Bye until the next video.